Hi guys, Sankar Mashreshra here, founder of PowerbyHabits.com on vlog number one where I'll be answering the questions, the health and fitness challenges that people fill out on a survey that I have below on this video as a link. So the question today is from Mr. Who because he forgot to write his name and he asked, how do we eat fresh vegetables with the farm when the farmer's market shut down in the winters? Uh, he says, I do not like the produce in the supermarket. And he also has another challenge of, he actually has a couple of challenges, one of the challenges he lives by himself and you know he doesn't want to cook every day and some days he comes back home and he writes when I came back home yesterday and I just slept because I was tired so number one how to eat fresh vegetables when the farmers market are down in the winters the easiest strategy system one could do is go to the farmers market and ask the farmers themselves hey now that you guys are closing in the winter if I had to get you know fresh produce where should I get it from Maybe there's another farmer's market that opens up in winters which might be in the vicinity or maybe there is someone who is growing in a greenhouse and if there is a co-op who will distribute in your house maybe at an extra you know, uh, premium price. But there are al alternatives. The best bet over here is to ask the people in the farmer's market because they probably might know of other communities, other people who do the same thing and there's got to be a way around it. Let's say if all the farmer's market in the city are shut down then, as Mr. Who says, I do not like the produce in the supermarket. I see there as a values and the belief system challenge, you know, because the person probably has some sort of association with the produce in the supermarket as something he doesn't want to associate with himself with, you know. There's got to be something in his values and the belief system, the way he believes about those produce from the supermarket that is interfering with his, uh, you know, with his personal beliefs. And uh, the fact of the matter is, this is a funny quote that I read recently, uh, 